Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create these three viral text animations in After Effects. For this tutorial, you will need the free Animation Composer extension from Mr. Horse, which I've linked in the description below. The first animation is this bouncy text animation. So go ahead and select your layer and go into Window and Animation Composer 3. Select Starter Presets, Transitions Text Layer and Animate Characters. Then select Overshoot Position and Scale Characters and we want to animate it in from the bottom and we want to animate it in. So select in and bottom. Then close animation composer and here we have our text. To make it longer we can move this marker far further away and to make it shorter we can move the marker closer. So now on to the second text animation. The second animation is this slow fade on text. So open up the effects and presets panel and type in slow fade on. Drag it onto our clip. Then open up the keyframe by pressing U and move your playhead roughly to the end of this keyframe group. Then type in fade out slow and drag it on. Move your playhead to the start of the clip and type increase tracking. Then drag it on. And if you see these dots here, then click U, wait a bit, and click U again. This opens up the keyframes again. So double click on the second increase tracking keyframe and change the tracking amount to 5. Move this keyframe to the end of the animation, like this. And this is your animation. If you want to make it longer, select all of the keyframes and using Alt or Option on Mac, drag it like this. This makes it longer and this makes it shorter. So now onto the third text animation. The third text is this wave warp and scale text. So select your layer, go into Window and Animation Composer 3. Then find Starter Presets, Transitions Text Layer and Animate Words. Then apply the Scale Words effect from Start and Animate In. Now go to the Effects and Presets panel and type in Wave Warp and drag this onto your layer. Set the wave width to somewhere around 200, the wave speed to 0.5 and the anti-aliasing to high. Then keyframe wave height and set it to minus 20, go to the end of your clip and set it to 5. Then once you play your animation, it should have this nice wave warp and scale effect. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you learn something new, since these tutorials don't get many views or likes. See you in the next one.